few terms specific to circles. Radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the line. Diameter is double this. Circumference is the perimeter of the circle equal to 2 pi r or pi d. The area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. A tangent is a straight line that just touches the outside of the circle at one point. This will always be perpendicular to the radius at that point. An arc is a portion of the circumference between two points on the circle. A chord is the straight line between two points. A segment is the area enclosed by an arc and a chord, whereas a sector is a piece of the pie, as it were, the area enclosed by two radii and an arc. The length of an arc can be calculated from the angle given. This angle will be a proportion of 360 degrees, so just find this ratio, then multiply by the total circumference. To find the area of a sector, just multiply by the total area instead. For higher, you need to know that an angle in a shape is subtended by the opposite side, so in this case, the arc. There are a few rules you need to remember. The first circle theorem, the angle subtended by an arc at the center is twice the angle subtended at the circumference. In essence, the angle is double at the center compared to when it's at the line. This is true no matter where the angle on the line is, so long as its two chords meet at the two radii lines from the center. The proof is this, split the angle with the diameter and call the two separate angles X and Y. We now have two isosceles triangles. As such, the other angles at the edge are x and y too. The angles at the center therefore must be 180 minus 2x and 180 minus 2y. The angles outside the triangles must be 2x and 2y, bringing the total angle to double the original. Next, the angles subtended by the same arc must be equal. This follows on from the first theorem. If we join the common points to the center, we know that the angle subtended there must be double that at the line, no matter where the far point of the segment is. A cyclic or cyclic quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon where all four vertices or corners touch the line, the circumference. Two opposite angles in one of these always add up to 180 degrees. The proof? Join two opposite points to the center and say the other angles are x and y. The angles on the other side must be double these, so we have 2x plus 2y around the center in the circle, which must add up to 360 degrees. So halving this, x plus y equals 180 degrees. If we make an arc a semicircle, the other point's angle will always be 90 degrees, and it will always be a right angle triangle. Why? Employing the first circle theorem again, the angle subtended at the center must be 180 degrees as it's a straight line, which must be double the angle at the circumference. When two tangents are drawn from points on the circumference to the place where they meet, they must be equal in length. This one might seem a bit more obvious, but we still need to be able to prove it. This is true just because if we draw the two radii, they must be perpendicular to the tangents, and the angles within the two triangles must also be equal, so the lengths of the sides are two. If you have a chord and draw a line to the center of the chord, they will be perpendicular. This is merely because we now have two identical but reflected right angle triangles, meaning the lengths must be equal. And finally, the alternate segment theorem. The angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. This proof might be the hardest, so here we go. As per usual, we join two points to the center by drawing radii, and we've made an isosceles triangle. And we can see that we have two lots of 90 minus x. That means the final angle must be 2x, and going back to our first theorem once again, the angle on the other side of the circle must also be x. So that just goes to show how important the first circle theorem is. If you can't remember all of these proofs exactly, just remember to A, join points at the center to make isosceles triangles, and they will have two equal angles, and that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, and B, use the whole double angle theorem to find the angle at the circumference.